So typically I travel around the world trying to find new adventures. But with the current situation, I've been forced to figure out new things to do while I'm home here in New York City. So today is supposed to be one of the hottest days yet of summer 2020 here in New York City. So I got my boosted board and it is currently 8 a.m. I'm cruising across the Williamsburg Bridge to hopefully do some skateboarding before this heat wave comes in. And today I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me throughout the whole day and even later this evening, we're gonna be doing something that I haven't done yet in New York and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. But first up, let's uh, survive this boosted board right across the bridge. You know, the thing that I love most about making these day in the life vlogs is I feel like it forces me to seize the day and this vlog just holds me accountable to it. I do typically like to wake up early but I feel like it's hard to get me to boosted board across a bridge at 7 in the morning into Brooklyn. But today we're vlogging, we're doing that, we got a croissant, we got our ice oat milk latte and we got an incredible view of Manhattan. It's gonna be a good day. I don't know if it's because it's too early or because it's too hot or maybe both, but I just made it here to McCarran Skate Park in Brooklyn and there's not really anyone else here, which I am kind of glad because I, I haven't skateboarded in quite some time now. So today we're gonna see if the kids still got it. Can you feel it? <laughs> That felt so good to wake up early, head over to Brooklyn, and get a skateboarding session. It is just so insanely hot that after about an hour of skateboarding, I looked like a burnt lobster. So now I am back at the apartment in the backyard getting some work done. Made myself uh, another iced coffee. But I do apply the, the same method that they teach you about drinking alcohol, where you're supposed to drink one glass of water per alcoholic beverage. I'm drinking one glass of water per iced coffee. And for those of you who aren't already, I do have a monthly newsletter where I do share with you guys a much deeper in-depth look into my life and running my businesses. So if you are interested in that and hearing about upcoming videos before they do get announced, click the link down below and uh, subscribe to my newsletter. It's not like money or anything, it's just a, a fun way for me to engage more with you guys. Now, two things that I do want to talk about that will also be in this newsletter is that in the next month or so, I'm gonna be launching my first ever e-course. When I was a little kid, my parents used to always ask me, Brett, what do you want to be when you're older? And I would always reply saying, I want to be a professional Brett. And at that time, I had no idea what that meant, but here we are now in my career where I guess that's the best way to describe what being a YouTuber is. So if you've ever been interested in getting into YouTube or video editing or branding anything for online products, then this course is for you. And also, I, I do promise it will be at a reasonable and affordable price. And then also something that will be happening next summer when hopefully it's safer to travel again is that I'm gonna be doing my first ever group trip. So if you do watch my travel videos and ever wanted to experience one of them with me, then now is your chance. There's also a link down below where there's actually this survey to help me pick which destination I choose for us to go. So something I'm super excited to do and you know include more of you guys on the channel and go on an epic exotic trip. So a lot to look forward to. It's pizza time. So you guys know my favorite pizza place in the city, Village Square Pizza, where they do the square slice and the pepperoni and then put the hot honey on it. They just opened up a new location in the West Village. So if you don't want to go to the East Village and you're closest to the West, this is the must try slice you guys need to try. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to show you why. My man Joe. 
Oh, All right, so Joe, who is one of the founders of Village Square Pizza, is gonna cook us a fresh pepperoni pie of their, their specialty slice. This is my favorite one too, so I'm excited to get it nice and fresh. So interesting to see the before and after. I would not expect that's what it looked like before it goes into the oven, and now look how this thing's gonna look right now. All you, let me know. Wow, perfect. It's just so beautiful. I've never seen a, a better looking pizza. If you guys come, you need to get the hot honey. I've never had hot honey on pizza before I came here and it, it was life changing. <laughs> guys, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. This is the most delicious slice of pizza I, I've ever had in my life. You guys need to come here to the West Village, say what's up to Joe and, and grab a slice of this Sicilian pepperoni, hot honey, New York City pizza. Mmm. This is a really messy dough. All right, now what we are about to do next, I am super excited about. This is something I, I've never done while living here in the city, but I always see so many other friends that live here doing it. Something pretty affordable and also just for the experience, it's supposedly well worth the money. And this is who we're meeting up with. What up, boys and girls? What's up, Cody? We made it here to Chelsea Piers. What a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. For those of you guys who don't know, this is Cody, AKA Exploring with Cody, a fellow travel YouTuber who just moved to New York City. New York City, here I am, Manhattan. How's for the first time been? during COVID, which is a interesting time to be here, but uh, good nonetheless. Yeah, Cody was able to get a steal on an awesome apartment yeah. and now is able to just kind of take advantage of the only good thing to come from COVID, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And yeah, this is what we're going on, dude. This is our ride. So we just set sail on our voyage and I didn't know too much about what came with this package that we got, but we got a, a, a free beer out of it. And then they also even serve other mimosas and wine and, uh, and other beers. But I feel like this is gonna be a nice way to end our weekend and enjoy a sunset overlooking New York City. All right, Cody just told me something that isn't too reassuring. This boat, it's really windy right now. They set up all the sails and we're kind of leaning all on one direction. I didn't think it was possible for this thing to capsize, but Cody over here from Connecticut was saying that when he was on a boat with his dad, that it was windy just like this and uh, it capsized. Luckily, there's a lot more weight on this boat than there was on my boat. But essentially, when it's like this and the sails are all out, it tends to lean to one side because the wind is pushing it. To counter it, you have to go on the other side and like hang out and you know, kind of uh, counter the weight. Luckily, there's a lot of people on here, I think, and uh, we shouldn't capsize, but you know, it's a possibility we capsize. I, I, I really hope this memory card is waterproof. <laughs> I don't care about me, I don't care about the camera. But I just, I need today's vlog. You're swimming with one <laughs> hand up out of the water. <gasps> Dedicated to the content. Oh my god! I told you, man. This is like the gravitron at those spares. <laughs> Look at this. I'm trying to hold up the one the egg. <laughs> wow, my heart dropped for a second. The whole entire boat just all went that way. I thought this was just supposed to be a casual sunset cruise. This is an adrenaline rush. <laughs> what happened? Cody just saved my life. What's it called? The boom? It's called the boom because it literally hits you in the head and it goes boom. <laughs> it goes boom. This thing just went from here to here. <laughs> this is much more boom. adventure than I thought. We got the boom. We almost capsized. Yeah, this is an adventure cruise, not a, not a sunset cruise. This is awesome. So for the past hour, we have just been relaxing and enjoying the views. And then out of nowhere, the sun just started turning so many incredible colors, looking like cotton candy. This is probably one of the best sunsets that I've seen in New York City in a long time. We got very lucky, dude. We did, we, got, we picked a great night. Guys, we got so lucky. For the past hour, we have just been relaxing and enjoying the views and the, the wind really calmed down so I didn't think we were gonna capsize anymore. Then out of nowhere, the sunset just started going crazy and now just looks like cotton candy. 
This is, uh, I think, the best night since I've lived here in a week. <laughs> this is one of the best sunsets I have seen in 2020. So lucky that we got here on this boat. Thank you, Classic Harbor Line Cruise, for uh, having us a part of your boat. Guys, that was such a phenomenal, unique, incredible experience. Such a different way to see New York City. I will leave a link down below to the company that I used to go on that little excursion, but I do highly recommend that. Well worth the money. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Please do leave this video a thumbs up and let me know if you guys do like these day in the life type videos. I did have a lot of fun bringing you guys along with me for the day, but that is gonna be it. And I will see you guys next week.